So when it comes to talking about comic book movies, a lot of people might know the name Kevin Feige, who's of course in charge of everything in the MCU and the Disney branch of Marvel when it comes to their movies. But they might not realize that his, you know, like passion with this and involvement with Spider-Man goes all the way back to the Sam Raimi stuff. That's actually where he got his first start and, you know, spun off Marvel Studios from that. So he has a deep connection with a lot of stuff that's happened. And you can see a lot of what's happening in Spider-Man Homecoming kind of mirrors and parallels what happens in the Sam Raimi movies because of that. Now, obviously, as we get going into Spider-Man Homecoming sequels, or Spider-Man 2, as we'll probably know it from this point on forward, there's a lot of talk of what villains we might see. Now, the Vulture was originally going to be a Spider-Man 4 villain, which he actually did help kind of get off the ground before he was full head-on into Marvel Studios, but that movie fell apart. And that's a character he very much wanted, just like the Lizard from very early on, they can never just find the time to do them. So recently when he was asked about the idea of using villains, older villains, new villains we haven't seen in the MCU, this is actually what he had to say, and I quote, Spidey has an amazing rogues gallery. At some point, I think it might be interesting to revisit some of the characters we've seen in films before. But right now, we think there are lots of new ones we haven't played with yet. So it's pretty easy to say what he's saying here and read between the lines. I mean, just look at it. He says, for one, Spidey has an amazing rogues gallery. And of course, they've already touched upon that. They used a Green Goblin twice. They've used Otto Octavius in Spider-Man 2, which many will say is the definitive version of the character. And it's going to be hard to top that. So probably not going to see him. But when you think about Spider-Man, there's always that one interesting factor you have to kind of touch upon, and that's his spider bite. And eventually, it's probably all going to actually end up leading to Norman Osborn. And I would say you're probably going to get that character sometime down the road, maybe not till the third or fourth movie, but it definitely sounds like they're going to eventually cover that, you know, when enough time has passed. But for now, for the next few movies, two movies, maybe three movies, if there's a crossover that he's jumping into and another spider villain appears there, we're probably going to get all new characters, you know. Hobgoblin may be a choice, I don't know, um, Craven is probably a given, uh, I would love to see Chameleon, but Chameleon has already kind of been done on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with the face mask, so that's kind of redundant and pointless. Mysterio, please Mysterio, and I would actually love to see Sandman again, maybe Hydro Man, yeah, do Hydro Man, that'd be cool. Alright, you guys let me know what you want. And not the jackal. Don't say the jackal.